My kids want one of these Genesis G90s because they have all the controls. all the controls back here for everything in I the armrest. I can arm control rest. the radio. Isn't that cool? And the Look air conditioning. The speakers. Ooh, that's fancy. I bet it sounds amazing, huh? Carson would just say the office. What is this for? Yeah, he would just push buttons all day, wouldn't he? Yeah. Here's how you can control your seat. Oh, the temperature? That is amazing. You guys want a G90? Yes, I do. <laughs> no. You don't want one? No, it's fancy, but oh, it looks like I can roll down Nan's window too. No, that's for the sunshade, for these. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the very first brand new car that your mom and I ever bought with this kind of thing. And the first one you bought with the public. Time for our tour. Well, we're just leaving Hyundai, Hyundai Motor Manufacturing, Alabama. And they had a pretty strict rule on no photography, of course, during the whole thing, so I couldn't get a lot in there. I did take a few little videos of the showroom area and stuff with my phone. So I'll try to incorporate those in, but no, no videos on the tour, of course. But it was a really, really fun tour. I think the kids were um, hesitant. They didn't want to spend an hour and a half doing something like that. But what do you guys think? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, Tegan thought it was pretty cool. To to begin with. Yeah, she didn't have any interest in it at all. But I think she came around, don't you think, Nanny? Yeah. Yeah, that was a really cool to see. I mean, we saw the the whole process. They make about 1,350 cars here a day, and they make Sonatas, Elantras, and Santa Fe Sports. She takes them about 16 hours. But yeah, there you go. Good job. 16 hours for one car to go through the whole line. Um, and they also produce their own engines here, the 2 liter and the 1.8. So they make about 2,800 engines a day, which is pretty impressive. So, and over 3,000 something team members. So pretty cool place and we saw the whole process, the robots welding and we couldn't go in the paint shop, but we saw a video of the paint shop. Um, but it was really cool to see, like, you know, stuff you see on TV on, like, Modern Marbles and stuff. We were right there. And it was all on a tram ride. It took us through the whole thing, so we didn't have to walk. And we had a little headset on so the tour guide could talk to us. And then safety glasses. And we were just on the tram the whole time going around the, um, the whole plant. So it was really, really cool. Did you, you enjoy it too, babe? Oh, yeah. It was really neat. Yeah, it was very cool. It was. And it was free. Yes. So you can't beat that. You do have to schedule it. They do like three tours on Monday and then two on Wednesday. And they only do them three days a week or something. You have to look at the website and get it scheduled. Look at advance though, because we were going to do it. We wanted to do it. The week that we came here and they were all booked up. So yeah. maybe if you know if you're going to be in Montgomery, um, Alabama or in the area coming up on it, make sure to look at their website to see ahead of time to schedule that. Yeah. Because they were probably, what, a week and a half out? Well, we first looked and then we got on a cancellation. Yeah, we kept refreshing to find something because we weren't going to be able to do it because they were all all booked up. Because it is spring break around here. And they don't really have good parking for an RV. We have the camper with us. But they have lots of parking. But we had to park a ways away. Mm -hmm. So. So you could bring your camper. You just have to park yeah. Away. Yeah, it's just tough. But there's plenty. There's tons of parking. Um. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna hit the road now and um, on to a new state. So we will see you guys there. Well, we just got out of your favorite store and mine, the Costco, and found out we had um, lost the cover to our refrigerator here. So it must have blown off somewhere on the highway in between Hyundai and here. So I will have to get another one of those ordered and figure out a way to cover that for the next part of the trip. So stand by. 
Well, I wandered back a little bit this way where we came in and I didn't see it on the road. I was hoping I could find it, but we just, I had some screen left over from replacing the screen in our door. And then I just put some Gorilla Tape around the edges. So it might be a little bit, a bit of a mess when I clean it up, but that will uh, keep it covered and keep the bugs out um, until we get a new one. So that'll do for now, I think. Doing repairs in the Costco parking lot, nothing like it. We just want to say hi. Oh, hi. Hi. We've kind of taken, gotten in the habit of stopping at the state line uh, visitor centers. They usually have some good oh. information. Watch out for falling pine cones here. And um, good place to rest. Oh, pine cones just fell on And get some good information. Oh, I did it. My hands are busy. And sometimes you can get a picture by this. By the state sign. So we're gonna go check it out. I'm not. Come on, We get everybody in there. And you don't have a sign in there. Welcome to Georgia. Huh? We're glad Georgia's on your mind, Sunny. Well, you guys will notice that there's a new driver in this seat. Because we got to where we're going. Very observant you guys are. And Tolina didn't want to um, have to park or back in or anything. Even though she's getting really good at it. <laughs> so on her way out from checking in, she just tossed me the keys and said, here you go. I said, what the heck? If you're assigned a spot, but we're not. Yeah, the way things work here in Georgia State Park, so when you make a reservation, you reserve a size of a site. Um, and then <coughs> they're all color coded. So they're all the sites are color coded by size. So you go and find a site. In our case, it's yellow, which is a 40 foot site. Um, so you go find a site that matches so let's make the color right? the color and then you um, go there and it's $28 a night uh, water and electric only but this place looks pretty cool it's uh, FD Roosevelt State Park it was a civilian conservation core project and um, Pretty cool. We're only going to be here for a couple days, but hopefully we can explore and learn as much and see as much as we can. We should come back for the pond and all the hot springs and things like that. Yeah. So we're going to drive down here and try to find a spot. George is pretty. A yellow spot. Yeah, George is really pretty. We're only like 20 miles into the state, but we are already are loving it. Do you want to do that one? See, this is why I didn't want to do this. 
Yeah, you don't play here. Because you're vicious. You'll be like, well, why don't you park there? Okay. Why don't you go back to that one? And then we're flipping around. And... This is stressful. This is a tiny campground. Roads are small. Yeah. It's pretty tight. I'm glad I'm not doing it. It's going to be fun to back into one of these bad boys. Go through the three, hey? I don't think there's any spots. Well, there might be spots in three. I don't know. She highlighted, but I don't know what... All these are back ends, but 107 is going to be your only pull through. I don't need a pull through. Yeah, you don't. What? Oh, this is just really narrow. It'd be really hard to impossible to get any playing longer than what we're in right now. It's pretty hard to me. It would be fun. There's this spot. I don't want to be next to the comfort homes. Comfort yeah, dumper. Nice I think this one will be good. Nice close to the playground. We we have this whole area here too. Yeah. Okay, do you want me to line you up? Yes, please. I think we're gonna do, gonna do this one right next to the playground. Um, it's kind of a pull through, and I think it'll work. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That would really help us out.